take the ladder. This is the place. Come. Take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Human. Wrong body type. Looks like Necrophage has got to this one. Let's keep looking. on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt, like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes, and some gray dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns, blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Mm, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy. So the victim wouldn't die too soon. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. I'm afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. At due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, 
it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay, and why his throat scalded. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. See anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons... We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please. Because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. It's some kind of sick ritual. You saw it. Burns in the eye sockets. Cavity where the heart should be. Scalding liquid. All centering on warmth, heat, fire. A fire eternal. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. As always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but... They're friends of the deceased. Here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why'd you cover for us? I was covering my own arse. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. You didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. Don't aim to press you. Thank you. I have nothing to hide. It's just an old wound, unhealed as yet. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. 
but I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. How will you make a living? With no monsters? Got a problem. Priscilla's. Grab him! Sis. That him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. You'll get me too, huh? Up your ass, Deviant! Holes can fight back! Uh. Calm down, I'm not gonna hurt you. What are you doing here? Getting vengeance. Well, why are you staring? Have you not heard killers always return to the scene of their crime? Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome. For Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much. But I can tell you what I know. You and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up whoring. Pick up a decent trade. But none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla... She was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see? Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? My well, dream's gone now. I'm back to working street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now.
I gotta look around some more. Appreciate it if you didn't disturb me. Naturally. We'll stand aside, behave. But do tell us if you find anything else here. A brazier, this time of year? A brazier, this time of year? A brazier, this time of year? Got a problem? footprint. The murderers, maybe. Wait on his heel. Took a step back. A brazier. This time of year? Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Watch it, Tram. Novigrad's not your stomping ground. What do you want? A brazier. This time of year? That smell, formaldehyde. Watch it, Tram. No regrets, not your stomping ground. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sick me hounds on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax, I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Set you stupid much, lay down. Come on, come on in. Slowly now, lest they bite you. So who might you be? The Stiff's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a buyer for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. You near my family or? What's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. Had some work in Oxenford, and I was coming home. Saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claimed not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. The Novigrad folk give bleat orphans in the street a wide berth so as not to stain their poor lanes. Or do they care about some dwarf? Fine. We've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Hmm, 
Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. stains, but not near enough to say he bled to death. Unless somebody got rid of the blood, left a few stains behind. Eyes, humanoid, completely rotten. Furniture got knocked over. This looks like it was kicked. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. Formaldehyde. Doubt Fabian used it. <laughs> 